Design thinking is a problem solving approach that involves empathizing with the user, defining the problem, ideating solution, prototyping and testing. It has become increasingly popular in recent years as businesses and organizations realize the benefits of a user centered approach to innovation. Hey everyone, I welcome you all to the session on what is design thinking. In this session, we will dive deeper into and explore what is design thinking. So let us not waste much of time and explore our agenda for today. First in our list is the origins of design thinking. Then we will look into the design thinking process and the benefits of design thinking. And finally, we will see some of the examples of design thinking in the action. But before we go ahead, kindly make sure you subscribe to our Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest Edureka videos. And also, if you are interested in our UI UX designs, then kindly check out the link that is given in the description box. So now let us see the origins of design thinking. The concept of design thinking can be traced back to the 1960s when a group of designers at the Stanford University came up with the idea of human centered design. They were trying to create a way of designing the product that is focused on the needs and desires of the user rather than just the technical specifications of the product. Since then, design thinking has evolved to become a broader problem solving methodology that can be applied to wider range of challenges from designing a product to solving complex social problems. Now, what actually is design thinking? So it is just a problem solving approach that involves understanding people's needs and empathizing with the challenges to create solution that meet their needs. As I said before, it is a human centered process that places people at the center of the design process, focusing on their needs, desires and aspirations. So that the design thinking process has become more popular methodology for solving complex problems in a various industries, including technology, healthcare, education and businesses. So now let us go and explore each and everything in the design thinking process. Here, the design thinking process is typically broken down into five stages. That is your empathize, define, ideate, prototype and test. The first stage of your design thinking process is empathizing with the user. This involves putting yourself in the shoes of your user and understanding their needs, wants and desires. This stage is critical because it helps the designers gain a deep understanding of the user's perspective and identify the root cause of the problem that they are trying to solve. To empathize with the users, designers might conduct the interviews, observe them in the natural environment or even immerse themselves in the user's experience. And the next in the process is define. Once designers have a deep understanding of the user's needs, they move on to the second stage of the design thinking process that is defining the problem. This involves synthesizing the information gathered during the empathy stage and identify the key insights. During this defined stage, designers might create a user persona, which is a frictional representation of the user that captures their needs, wants and desires. This helps designers keep their users at the center of the problem solving process and ensure that the solution that they are coming up with are relevant and meaningful. And the third stage of the design thinking process is ideation. This is where the designers generate a wide range of ideas and potential solutions to the problem that they define. There are a variety of ideation techniques that the designers might use including the brainstorming, mind mapping and sketching. The goal of ideation stage is to generate as many ideas as possible without worrying about whether they are feasible or not. This helps designers explore a wide range of possibilities and find new and innovative solution for the problem. So once the designers have generated a range of ideas, they move on to the fourth stage that is the prototype. 
This involves creating a physical and digital representation of the solution or the solution they have come up with. Prototyping is very important because it allows the designers to test their ideas in a low risk environment and get the feedback from the users. This helps designers refine with their ideas and ensure that the final solution they develop is the best possible solution for the user. The final stage of design thinking process is testing. This involves putting the prototype in front of the users and getting their feedbacks. The feedbacks generated during the testing stage is used to refine the solution and make any necessary changes. Even testing is also very important because it also ensures the final solution in relevant and meaningful to the user. It also helps the designers identify any potential problems or issues with the solution before it is launched. Now that we have seen what is design thinking and their design thinking processes. Now let us see the benefit of design thinking. Design thinking offers a number of benefits to the businesses and organization, including the user centered solution. Design thinking ensures that the solution developed are the centered around the needs and desires of the user, resulting in the solution that are more relevant and meaningful. And the next thing is the innovation. Design thinking encourages the exploration of new and innovative solutions, which results in more creative and effective solutions to the problems. And the next thing is collaboration. Design thinking is a collaborative process that involves multiple stakeholders, including the designers, engineers, and the users. This helps to ensure that a wide range of perspectives and ideas are considered, resulting in more diverse and inclusive solutions. And the next thing is the agility. Design thinking is a flexible and iterative process allowing for quick adjustment and the changes to be made as the new information is gathered. This enables businesses and organizations to respond to the changing circumstances and stay ahead of the competition. And the most important benefit is the cost effectiveness. Design thinking can help businesses and organizations save money by identifying and addressing the problem earlier on this development process. This can help prevent costly mistakes and reduces the risk of product failures. Now let us see some of the examples of the design thinking in action. The design thinking has been used by a wide range of businesses and organizations from small startups to large corporates. So let us see some of the examples starting with Nike. Nike uses design thinking to develop their flagnet technology, which revolutionized the way athletic shoes are made. By ideating and prototyping a new way of creating shoes, Nike was able to create a product that was more lightweight, breathable, and environmental friendly. Then we have IDO.org. It's a non-profitable organization that uses design thinking to tackle complex social problems such as poverty and inequality. By empathizing with the communities they serve and understand their needs and desires. Where IDEO.org has been able to create innovative and effective solutions to these difficult challenges. Last but not least, the Airbnb. The Airbnb used design thinking to revamp their user experiences, resulting in more streamlined and intuitive platform. By empathizing with their users and understanding their needs, Airbnb was able to create a more user-centered experiences that has helped them become one of the most successful sharing economic companies. If I want to conclude the design thinking, is a powerful and the problem solving approach that can help businesses and organization develop more innovative and user centered solutions. By empathizing with the user, defining the problem, ideating the solution, prototyping and testing. 
designers can create solutions that are more efficient and cost effective. Design thinking is not just for designers, but can be used by anyone who is looking to solve a problem in a creative and effective way. By following the principles of the design thinking, businesses and organizations can stay ahead of the competition, save money and make positive impact on the world around them. So this brings us to the end of the session on what is design thinking. We have a lot more videos on this topic, so make sure you get all the updates by clicking on the bell icon. I hope you have a good understanding on what is design thinking after watching this video. If you want to get certified in UI UX design, then we have the course link given in the description box. So I hope you will get most out of it. So let's see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!